And welcome back to Jeff Kenangi live at the Intercontinental Hotel. If you're just joining us, well, you have missed a session with the man with the same name twice. Miguna Miguna never fears calling it like he sees it, shooting from the hip, shooting from both cylinders. Fred Gorey tweets coming in thick and fast. Fast and furious, actually, Jeff. Yeah, fast and furious. Fred Gorey says, ask Miguna if he's running for Nairobi governor 2017. I asked you that earlier on, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Poker Hunter says, enjoying the talk with Miguna Miguna. Daniel Osiemo Ondiere says, this is the only guy who can take you on in spite of your bullfighting skills. He's talking to uh, Dr. Bonnie Khalwale. And Frederick Okango comes back and says, I would like to know if Miguna would have coffee with Raila before he goes back, just to tell him to his face all these pieces of advice. Would you? Of course. Would you? Of course. You would meet him? Of course. I have no problem. Would he meet you? I'm a civilized person. If I meet Raila, we'll have even dinner. And he'd do the same with you? He'd be laughing with of you? Of course. He'd say, Janyando, you'll say, Jacob. No problem. And I will tell him, you don't want the presidency, my friend. To his so face. just give it up. To his face? To his face. Because you believe he doesn't? There is no reason why Raila is running anymore. Yeah, there is no reason. No? No. He shouldn't? He's not capable of leading anything. Okay, here's another scenario. And, you know, we always talk, talk, talk about scenarios. And, you know, they could be true, maybe not true. But, mm -hmm. okay, William Ruto runs for president on his side. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Picks a running mate from somewhere else and he's running. Maybe Kalonzo or maybe Weta, I don't know, mm -hmm. on that side. Mm -hmm. Raila switches and comes back to jab. Okay. Can you see that kind of scenario it, as a running mate? It will not happen. Raila will not be a running mate of Uhuru ever. But come on, Daddy and Daddy, Oginga, Odinga, you know, Kenyatta, Odinga. That, that marriage uh, ended in acrimony, and the, in law we say that the differences are, there are ir irreconcilable mm -hmm. differences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these differences go deep and wide, and they cannot be reconciled. So these two can never come together? They can work together, and maybe Raila could may decide not to run, and may back, let's say, President Uhuru Kenyatta. That is possible. But I don't see him being Uhuru's running mate. You don't? Well, because, number one, you would lose the Lua support. Lua's want a president. They don't want a deputy president. Yeah, but the president, meaning after 17, he could be the guy. He would be dead. He would be dead. How are you going, Naturally. How's, he going be, how's he going to be dead? Well, how old is he? He's 70, 71. He just turned 70, no, actually. No, no, that's what you think. But personally, I think it, it, it would be too late. He can't be president. Ronald Reagan was president at 80. You see, it is always a wish. You know, how, how long did King Solomon rule, for example, in the Bible? So you can cite all manner of things. How many wives did he have? Yes. You want to have like him. You are not King Solomon. So um, he's not the person you're comparing him with. He's not Reagan. He's not President Yomo Kenyatta. He's not Mandela. He's, he's just Railodinga. So this will not happen. Now, the scenario that you've given, um, let's say Kalonzo mm -hmm. running with Ruto. Mm -hmm. So why would he leave Raila to run with Ruto if he's going to be deputy? Because he's deputy here. Yeah, because he's, he's been be in the cold there. all these years. Yeah, but he's in the cold now. Yes. And he would still be in the cold in court as much as he goes and runs with Ruto. Uh, Kamba votes, how many are there even if he give, gives 100%? How many are Kalenjin votes even if Ruto gets 100%? And that is not guaranteed. What other Kenyan community would vote for that ticket? You understand? So it's dead in the water, dead on arrival. It will not get anywhere. The best you can do is 50 members of parliament. Right. So where do you go with that? You negotiate for speakership with another party? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what they are looking for? What does that give you substantively in terms of people who know, who understand power? Yeah. Nothing. So why would you leave a 50-50 deal within Jubilee to go get uh, 3%? You, you, you go where you cannot even smell the aroma of power and you are inside the house eating but you see the difference. Yeah, I see the difference. <laughs> but there's something called the ICC, 
Mm. And we haven't talked about that, but it's a reality. Yes. And ICC is closing in yes. on the deputy president right now. How we, is it closing it's in? It's closing in. We know the case is almost finished. We know it's not... It's, it's not finished. It's not finished. The prosecution case has not ended. Ah, but it's going to end in the next month yes, or so. Yes, but it has not ended. And that would be just halfway. Because the defense then has its own case. Okay. They may decide not to present a case. Or they may decide to present a okay. case. Right now, they are submitting a motion for, uh, uh, for a finding okay. that there is no case to answer. Good point. So they present a case. Yeah. They delayed till 17. Ruto, in the meantime, says, you know what? Mm. The only way I can be exonerated or I can be above the ICC yes. is, is if I run for president yes. and win and pull a Bashir. He can't. Let me tell you why. First of all, his motion for no, no case to answer will fail because I think they will find he has a case. Hmm. So if I was advising them, I would tell them, don't even try that. Go straight to... Tell to Karim present. Khan, go Forget. straight. Forget. Put your defense. Put your defense. It's always good to be acquitted. It's not good to get off on a technicality because people will always believe that you are guilty. Go through the entire process and get acquitted. You are very strong. If he got acquitted and he came and ran, you can see some political fireworks because he will come back a strong person. Mm -hmm. However, of course, if he's convicted, he's dead in the water, right? Correct. But these are all hypothetical. So you're saying that he decides before the case ends yes. that he's going to run. For president. Yes. But that is assuming that he must win. Yes. So how is he going to defeat Uhuru Kenyatta? Well, uh, he's going to <laughs> how? form all these alliances we've been talking about. With who? Weta. Weta comes with how many votes? What? He comes with Bukusu. How many votes are those? And you know how they vote. How? If they register 100%, they vote 30. <laughs> At most. <laughs> OK. Kalonzo. So, Kalonzo then comes with It takes Cumberland. It takes how, how many votes? 1.5, let's say. No. How many actually vote? Cumbers don't vote more than a million. So he comes with a million, plus Weta's third. And then, and then he gets and then Joho the, or Coast. And then the Kipsigis is gone with uh, Isaac Ruto. Oh, with Isaac. So he remains with the Nandis. And then they go to State House? Is that not the worst joke? Because remember, Raila is also has his Okoa something yes. plus Cod. Yes. So Raila also gets Luos out here. Yes. And a few lawyers and a few from the coast. And then maybe somebody, maybe you're like, yep, you already said he's running. So he also takes a bit of Kikui. Zuru still wins. What if he takes what if he what if he takes Jacom with him? What if he convinces Jacom? Who? Ruto. But then Jacom then has to run. As DP, as vice president. He can't be DP to Ruto. He can be the Biden of Kenya. You can even see from the way the body language, the way they are abusing each other, that these two cannot work together. But it's politics. You, you keep talking about so politics. So you are saying it is all a game. Yes. You think they're abusing each other as a game. Publicly. I know these people, and I know they cannot work together. You see, Ruto and Raila, they are the same. Everything about them is the same. The way they treat their friends is almost the same. The way they operate, I told you the house there is a curse. Mm. They are behaving the same way. So, so how do they work together? You know, to work together, even you, you are married, you know. Uh, me, my wife is very mellow. That's how she can live with me. Because I'm a strong person, mm. she's very calm. Yes. So she, she compliments me. Mm -hmm. I can't marry a woman like me. We, we, can't, raise, we and... can't raise a family. Yes. Yeah. That's in life, everywhere. The same with politics. So these two... So you have to always match male with Wait. active. Mm. Yes. And here you have two hyperactive people, very opinionated, uh, very ruthless, they're going to kill each other. People are going to die in state house. But it's all about numbers, Miguna. Like, yeah, Remember they Sankara and Kompore? Yes. People died there. They did die. Yeah. And they killed Sankara? Yes. And then... So one of them is going to die. Remember Kabila? Yes. So you don't want that. And that would not be good for Kenya. Because you could have civil war. I don't want these two working together. Let them keep their parties. Yeah. Let them contest 
for power. Yeah. Let Kenyans vote whoever they want. Okay, if Ruto was to run against Uhuru, could Gideon pick, uh, could, could Uhuru pick Gideon Moy as a running mate? If he does, that would be a terrible mis mistake. Why? Gideon has no, uh, he has no, no, nothing. What do you mean? Politically in Kenya, yes. you cannot go to elections with Gideon now and win. He's, he's got deep pockets. Deep pockets is nothing. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's in training. He's no, 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 no. Deep pockets is nothing. There are a lot of people in deep, with deep pockets who lose elections. Remember even in Nigeria, recently, you gave the example. Jonathan had more had deeper pockets mm. than the other side because he was in government. Correct. And you saw in Zambia the same. Yeah. They lose elections, even in Africa. Yeah, but m remember, remember the old Moi Kenyatta, Kenyatta, Moi Kenyatta, Moi, Moi Kenyatta, yes. that whole alliance. If he tries, Uru will be a one term president. No. Yeah, I can give him that for free. That's free advice for him. Try Gideon, you're a one term president. Then your scenario would work. Then Ruto and the rest will win. Uh -huh. that, that he can take to the bank. Stick with Ruto. Or get somebody viable. Like who? If Raila runs as his deputy, yes, yes. they will win. Uhuru, right, Raila. Yeah, 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 they would win. They would win, of course. They would win before, before noon. <laughs> <laughs> but you said he would lose Luo no, I'm just saying, yes. Raila would not go and work with him. Luo's want a president, they don't want a deputy. Okay? But the next best thing. Well, I don't know, but I've told you. Yes. Yeah. Nairobi, would you run? W are you, you still harbor ambitions? Of course I would. Seriously? Yes. Give you me want, the money and I'll run. You want to run this city? Yes, of course. Uh, you see, Kenya deserves people who know what they want mm. and who have the courage to do it. A and I believe I'm one of them. Yeah. Now, people can call that any manner of things they want. They can call it arrogant, I don't care. Yeah. They can call it whatever they want. I say what it is, yes. Would you clean up the traffic that we experience every day? You see, you need a team. All you need is someone who is not concentrate in uh, fleecing the public. Uh, they, they are not going to spend most of the time looking for where they are going to steal. The people you have now are looking for what they can steal mm. from the public instead of fixing the problems that they should. Yeah. I'm not greedy. I'm not interested in, in being the richest person around. These guys want to show that they are the richest people around. They drive the biggest car. Mm. They live in the biggest house. They can go to the, the, the farthest uh, destination for holiday. If that is the legacy they want to build, let them try that. But that is not public service. Miguna, you were in the corridors of power. You were the closest that comes to being in power. Why didn't you steal? Just a little, I'm just asking you an honest question. Why didn't you steal a little bit? Uh, uh, I didn't steal just to be alive like I am today. First of all, it is against my nature. I don't steal. I've never stolen. I don't know how to steal. And I don't want to steal. All right? And uh, I also believe that public service, if you are interested in getting rich, public service is not where to get it. Become an entrepreneur, go do something where you can multiply mm. your profits mm. or your investment uh, faster yeah. or more. But in the position you were in, Miguna, were yeah. there temptations? Were there people telling you, hey, get me, an in get me close to uh, Jacom and, you know, here, take this Nobody something. would ever offer me anything. Me, nobody offered because I think they knew. Just the same thing that uh, you know, if you go to an office, there are people you will never suggest anything around. So I was one of those. And then there were the majority of the people that were ready to fix things. But you were never one of them? Including your friend that has been very loud. But I will not say it. Please say it. No, I say won't. Say it. I've been I, soon I enough. Say it. No, I won't. No, say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm governed. <laughs> I know who you mean. I'm governed. I know who you mean. Yeah. <laughs> so some people speak too much. Yes. But when you look at their record, their record don't stand up to scrutiny. Mm. Yeah. And he's been attacking me, attacking all manner of people, and he can't stand in front of me. No. He can't. And you know, I've studied these people. I'm one person who has their history in my fingertips. Let them stand in front and I will give them a reel. 
just sitting like this. Yes. Yeah. And then I tell them, come tomorrow, I'll give you another reel. Yeah. Miguna, you know, earlier then on... go the, to court. Yes. Earlier on in the show, you were talking about um, us being very cynical as Kenyans. Very mm -hmm. cynical. Mm -hmm. And you say you can't afford to be cynical. I can't. Because you see, the moment you are cynical, you have to give up. You have to give up hope, and you have to give up a, a dream for a better Kenya. A and I can't. I grew up with an orientation, a political orientation, of transformative politics, progressive transformative politics. I believe that all these problems can be transformed. Mm. All of them can be made better. Things can be made better. The poverty in Kenya can be eradicated. Can. Corruption in Kenya can be reduced to 10%. You can never eliminate corruption, right. but you can reduce it to 10%, where 80% of the natural resources and revenue goes towards public service, productive activity for the, for the general good. That would be good for the country. So that if they are stealing 5 to 10%, that's manageable. A country can grow. Right now, they are stealing more than 80%. 80? Yes. And the country is still running? I think they are stealing a lot. That is why our shilling has tank. Yeah. Our economy has come to a standstill. Yeah. And you just see a few people getting richer, but the majority of people are walking. They can't even take mat matatus. Most people can't even eat three square meals. Right. They can't afford tuition or, or fees for their children. They can't live in a hospitable, habitable, you know, residence. Most of these people live in pathetic conditions. Yeah. And we don't care about them. And that is wrong. You, you find that we have discovered oil. Yeah. And there are people busy stealing the oil. The Turkana, they would rather the Turkana are still uh, completely neglected, no education, no housing, basically still scavenging. But the elite, even within Turkana, are eating the steak. They own serious buildings in Nairobi. Yep. Yep. You know? Yeah, and while those people kill themselves there, they yes. don't care. Yes. They don't care. So that is wrong. Insecurity is another one. It is very, very critical that insecurity be dealt with. But you see, you can't deal with insecurity with the level of corruption that you have here. Because the terrorists, as long as they have money, they can buy any information. Yeah. And they can compromise anyone. And so we are all at risk. So these problems are intricately, intricately connected. Tribalism, corruption, and insecurity. Because again, if you, if you, you do what the previous governments have done, that in the military, it's only one community mm -hmm. at the officer level. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are either not there or at the service uh, level. Then again, you're going to have problems. Yes. Because people will simply avoid telling information to people from your community. Deliberately. Deliberately. Yeah. And we'll never be able to. You'll never be able to root it out. There's a guy called Kahawa Tungu. He says, uh, you, want, you have ambitions of running for governor of Nairobi. How many elections have you won? You don't have to win elections to win one. Buhari became president. He had never won any elections. Didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah. He, the first one he won was a coup. It was a, it was a coup. He didn't win anything. You're yeah, right. Yeah, so he just won. Mandela didn't win any elections before he went to jail. He came out and he became president. Jomo Kenyatta was not anything until he became president. So what is he talking about? Read history before you ask me any questions. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my, you are on fire today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people need to do, you know, there are people you should not just come to with anything. Yes. You prepare. Yes. So that you can look coherent. <laughs> Someone like me, you yeah. come with silly questions. Of course, you will not get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I hope mine weren't silly. No, you never. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be at the bank. <laughs> You Make see, I avoid many media houses. You do, you do. Yeah. And I appreciate you coming I to I only come to your bank. I appreciate that. Yeah. Not that they don't want me to go. I'm sure they... Because the ratings are high. Yes. Yeah, so... Yes. <laughs> and their ratings are quite high, but, you know, the questions are... Yeah. Yeah. 
So you decide where to go. <laughs> right now, it's only two of you who can ask questions. Who's the other? Mado. Ma what? Larry can ask questions. Madawa. Larry Mado. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, he can. I mean, I give credit. Kid. I like that kid. Yeah. He's smart. Where credit is, and he can take he's, a he's, hit. Is come up? No, he's a good kid. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Are you gonna go on the show? No. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then some. Me gonna. You see that camera over there? Yes. I'm gonna give you the last thirty seconds or so. Yes. Just your final thoughts going forward. Go on. Okay. Well, I was not prepared for this, but I want to speak to the country. Uh, I want to say this with all humility that we have a great future and we have great potential in the people of Kenya. We have a good constitution and all we need is to work together to implement it. I would like to appeal to the president to act, to stop speaking. Act. Thank you. You're gonna, can you do one more thing for me? Yes. Just, can you say, come baby, come? Ah, no. That one will come during the campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> because there's t-shirts. Yes. Come baby, come. Yes. There are salons downtown. Yes. They're using my name to make money. No problem. Let are Kenyans make some money. Are you getting royalties? No, I'm not suing them for that. They are struggling Kenyans who are trying to survive. So let them survive. <laughs> <laughs> what was but the other one? if, yes. if, yes. If a big corporation like yours did that, yes. I would sue. <laughs> so if I would we, sue. And the, what was the other one? Oka, baby, oka? Oka, baby, oka. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You can't. But you love it, right? You love it. It's good. Let them make money. It means that uh, I, 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 I did something good. Yeah, you touched a chord. I touched a chord. Yes. Thank you, my brother. Thank Congrats. you. Greg. Well done. Thank and you. good luck, huh? Thank good luck. You. Thank you for always speaking the truth, my brother. Yes. My goodness, Miguna Miguna, your tweets, I, I'd love to read them all, but they're just coming in thick and fast. And that's the way they should. Fast and furious. Keep tweeting. At Krenanga Jeff, the hashtag is Miguna times two. What a chat. What a talk we've had with this man who calls it like he sees it, shoots from the hip, and he just doesn't take any prisoners. That's Miguna, Miguna. Tomorrow night, right here on JKL, you're going to love this one. He started, he came from humble beginnings. Today, he's a CEO of what was recently voted Kenya's best bank. Many of you know it simply as Equity. Equity Bank. CEO, Dr. James Mwangi will be here with me tomorrow night. It's Inspiration Thursday like no other because this man has come a long way. And I tell you, the turnover, the staff, the team, I was at the award ceremony. These guys have done I They've simply done okay. So that's tomorrow night right here on Kenya's television network, KTN. Make sure you tune in 10 p.m. JKL. Tell a friend, send the word, spread the word. It's happening right here. Meantime, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks to Miguna Miguna. Jaguna Jaguna. Whatever you want to call him, he calls it. Thanks so much. Good night. Good luck. Thank you.